Hello everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, this is the desert. This is my new winter home. No matter where I'm at, it's going to be a lot better than freezing my butt off. Highly recommend it for people. I said it before. The desert has a lot of places you can park. Not a whole lot of places with toilets, but you know, you do what you got to do, right? To get by. Bring lots of water. Stock up. Anyway. Let's see if this will focus on me for a minute. I'm going to do a quick video. Keep this light. This is all about music. I watched Pirate Radio last night. I've seen it before. I actually owned the movie. It was awesome. Um, and also watched a um, documentary about Muscle Shoals. If anything, I mean anything, made me want to t cross that Texarkana line going east, it would be going to Muscle Shoals. And I don't care if I have to buy a guitar and just sit there and learn how to pick while I was there. I'm telling you, man. And it's also native Cherokee land. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. It is. Look it up on the map. What time my ancestors owned that area. Well, that was part of their native land, but whatever. And the magic exists. There's always that. I love the, the story about the, the natives that were here in the river sing to them, and then they go to Oklahoma. They were moved to Oklahoma, and they, you know, they couldn't hear the voices. They even couldn't hear the river sing, and it was a horrible thing, but. Yeah, it's an amazing documentary. I mean, talk about, <laughs> before I watched that documentary, all the music that I loved, I mean, literally loved from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, mostly the 70s, came out of that place. I mean, the soul, the, the southern rock, I mean, ridiculous. I mean, every, I mean, seriously, just look at the end of that documentary and all the different artists that went to Muscle Shoals to record. That's an amazing freaking place. That's all I got to say. And it's something I might still, you know, make a trip to eventually if I get the gas and money and time. And, mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm going to get a guitar. It's, these are all things, you know, things I want to learn. I've always wanted to learn a guitar. My stepmom, it was funny when I was a kid, before I got kicked out of the house, she was, she was a control freak. And um, she wanted us to play instruments. So I instantly said, I want to learn how to play guitar. She's like, no, you're going to play the violin. And me being Taurus and wanting to do what I wanted to do, I just said, fuck it then, I won't do it, I won't play it. And that was the end of that, my musical career. I mean, that's kind of psycho she was. She wouldn't let anybody do what they wanted. It had to be her way. Anyway, so yeah, I do want to play the guitar eventually. I bought a hollow bass electric once, and it was sounded so sweet, even, even unplugged, which I loved. So I might just grab one of those again and learn, get back into it. You know, I write poetry, and I was thinking about that. And I like that last poem I threw out um, my la one of my last videos. That would make a great song. Good lyrics. I'm thinking about that. I write lyrics all the time. I just don't realize it. I think it's poetry, right? So that might be something I can work with. But music is uh, music is my saving grace. Ooh, it's getting windy. Music is amazing. And Pirate Radio is such an awesome movie. That is such a cool movie. I'm not big on floating out in the ocean, but I'd do that. I'd do it. I'd love DJing would be amazing. Just having control over a radio station and be able to play whatever you want. The B sides, like for example, U2, big fan of their early stuff. He get, they got douchey. I'm sorry, they got especially after Pop Zoo or whatever the hell that shit was. Just I turned me off hard. But Joshua Tree was their was their masterpiece. The first two songs, three songs get played just at nauseum. But there's, you know. Red Hill Town, one was it One Hill Town or oh my God, there's so many good songs on that album. It's like their masterpiece. Everything after that, they just got corrupt and shitty. But and the early stuff, War and Boy are also good, you know. Anyway, but I love music, and music is like my music has been one of the major healing components for me in my in my in my loneliness or whatever my solitude. I always listen to music. I contribute that to kind of like being um, high function autistic. I mean, music calms me and makes me relax. When I'm not listening to music so much, I've gotten better now. But you know, when I control my energies and stuff, before it was like literally the one thing in my life that keep me sane and keep me focused and help me calm me down and make me feel better about the situation I'm in, regardless. Now I just enjoy the hell out of it because I'm already in my power, so that's not even a problem. But music will save you. Find this music you love. Learn to love it. I'm telling you, 70s music is amazing. Soul music. Uh, some of the disco. Donna Summers is amazing. And mostly the rock, the the folk, 
you know, the folk rock, you know, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young and, you know, Orleans and, you know, I don't know. There's so many, but anyway, just figure it out. Find it, find your, find, you know, different music to listen to because it's amazing. And yeah, look at that Muscle Shoals documentary. It's, it's awesome. It's amazing. It's on YouTube. And maybe you want to go there. It inspired me to want to, you know, to want to make music, to be a musician. When I just watched it, I was like, oh, my God, that's so amazing. And it's just like Ken Burns when he did that um, National Park documentary. I just, that gave me the bug to want to go do my tour around the west of America. And I did it this past year. It wasn't easy, but it was a little scary. But, yeah, it was amazing. I mean, sleeping with buffalo, are you kidding me? It's in there. My video's in there. You'll see it. Anyway, um, yeah, music. Gotta love it, babe. Keep it in your keep it in your mind. Keep it in your heart. Keep listening to it. Keep rocking. <laughs> keep rocking and rolling, baby. Because it all came from the blues. And that in itself is an amazing thing. Mm. Aretha Franklin. That first song that she recorded at Fame Studio. Talk about goosebumps. Ooh, mm. and you'll know what I'm talking about. You gotta watch the documentary. Anyway, I'm gonna let you go. That was it. I just want to talk about music, and I love you. Oh, I'm sorry. God loves you, and the universe digs the hell out of you. <laughs> so have a wonderful day, and so will I. And yeah, here's a little desert, and have a wonderful Thanksgiving too. Goodbye. Okay,